Crackle pop. Oh god. The smell is just. McDermott Jail, 1870. McDermott Jail. Cricket Jail. Just left the town of McDermott, trying to escape this Mormon cricket invasion. Headed up to the top of this plateau to enter the Owyhee Canyon lands. It's gonna be 123 miles to my next resupply stop at Rome Station. And this is the route up this canyon. It's a 2,000 foot climb to get up to the top of the plateau here. Yeah, this is, this is awesome already. It was sheer cliffs over there. This is, this is really nice. that you just instantly realize, you know, this is something special. This is definitely one of those places. And these high winds have just been so persistent this entire, this entire hike for me. You see the valley down there below, pretty hazy, a bit of a dust storm going on. Climbed up 2,000 feet out of the valley, and behind me lies 2 million acres of the Waihee Canyon lands. 2 million acres. It's actually larger than Yellowstone. It's one of the largest areas of dark skies in the lower 48, uh, as well as one of the largest areas without any major highway passing through it. Absolutely wild place. So a lot of this area here in the Waihees is actually basically just one big plateau, and then in the middle of the plateaus you have the canyons that cut through it. So I've got to walk 20 miles across this plateau before I can get to the first canyon, drop down into Laos Canyon. So for now, I've got a 20 mile walk through Sage, Kansas. You're looking out over landscapes like this where it's a bit daunting to me, you know, it's just, not only is it just vast, but it's boring and there's no variation to it. Like in town, the Mormon cricket swarm out here has been pretty, pretty bad. You can barely walk without stepping on them. So really, I'm just hoping to find a spot tonight where I'll be able to set up my tent that's free of Mormon crickets because if you remember from the previous sections, my uh, tent has been giving me all sorts of issues and I haven't been able to zip up one side of my mosquito netting and my one side of my vestibule. I'm probably gonna be swimming in Mormon crickets all night myself inside my tent. This is a road on the map, you know? ODT says, this is a road, you don't follow this. This is off trail hiking, this is not a road. And this here is the extreme upper portion of Laos Canyon, which West Little Owyhee River flows through. All right, well, I'm dropping down into the canyon anyway. I think it's the, the obvious choice for the moment just because it's the most direct. Boy, this stuff is a pain to walk through too. It's just been slow, slow miles so far. Look at all these rocks. You know, this is an obstacle course. Oh. Look at this one. 
This is the perfect camping cave too. Chill, dude. Relax. Maybe this isn't the best camping cave. <laughs> Gonna listen to that bird all night. Clearly this, is, this cave's been used, but I'm not ready to camp. There's another cave over there. See if we get the feeling this is like a very like ancient primal place, you know? Time to climb out of the canyon, at least for now. And that's just a taste of Laos Canyon. In another, I don't know, 12 miles or so, once I pass Anderson Crossing, man, it's gonna be a whole different world. So I've climbed out of the canyon, met this road. Yep, this is a road apparently. And you know, there's, it's gonna be a vast expanse of nothing for a while. I think what I'm gonna do is just head back down to the river and uh, camp down there in the valley out of the wind and I'll have a water source. This terrain is notoriously hard to find a flat, clear spot and really just a clear spot, you know? Here's tonight's camp. It's about as protected as I'm gonna get from the wind. Nice soft ground. 